Okay, hi guys, Dom here, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again. We're not doing video games, we are doing makeup today. Honestly, this is just how I wear my makeup every day, only because I've had to tone it down because of, you know, all the masks, wearing, and all that stuff. But today, along with me doing my makeup, we're going to be talking about running. I've waited so long to talk about this, excuse me, yeah. only because I thought it would be a little bit odd to talk about. It just depends, I guess. Um, I am in no way a, um, I guess, professional, but I've been running for like about, <laughs> I've been running for like about um, five years or so. Um, and a lot of things have happened and I've learned a few things along the way and I think it'll be fun and if you want to try running, you can try running. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, if I'm not mentioning any makeup items, it will be in the description. I'm still trying to figure out how to do links, so yeah, um, it will be in the description if you want to look anything up or if I'm just fanatically talking about something, you will see it. So first, because my lips are dry, we are going to start off with this Goodnight Kiss Overnight Lip Mask by Victoria's Secret. And some of the items that I am going to be talking about uh, are Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm trying to find some other brands to wear. And it's not even that the quality of the clothes for me is a bothersome thing. They've changed the company a bit, or they're trying to, but to me it just seems like it's turning into just like a, a sale type of store. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, everything is just a sale. Like, every time I turn around, it's just a sale. And then they're trying to, like, in a sense, mass produce so many things. It's just, it's, it's weirding me out. So... We're going to start with the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. This one is just a regular one. They also have a one that is like super clean and clear just because um, if you're allergic to something because this one has oils in it. We're going to start off with that. Pat, pat, pat. But I started running like five years ago. Uh, maybe more than that. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I wanted to join the military at some point, and there's this test you have to pass because I wanted to join the Marines, and uh, you have to be able to run at least three miles in 30 minutes. And I think now it's like 29 or something, it might be 31 for women. I'm not sure, it's around those metrics. Um, so, two, I was overweight and I needed to exercise and change my life. Um, at some point, I was almost 300 pounds, and I always say that because like that was the number that freaked me out about it, and I'm just like, huh, I think I better get my booty into gear and start to lose the weight. So, oh yeah, before I go on, look at this shirt. So, I don't know what it is with me, with these, ow, my knee, that was so loud. I don't know what it is with me in these oversized shirt dresses, but I actually freaking love them. We're gonna go in with the Claire's Vitamin Drop. And um, also, this is a Vitamin C Drop. But what bothers me about this is that it's Vitamin C, and usually Vitamin C Drops are in a darker container, so they don't um, oxidize and you get all the benefits of using this. And I'm going to probably change them over. I love Claire's, but that just kind of bothers me that I know you're supposed to have this in a dark container and it's like, why? Next, I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with the Hyaluronic Acid. I don't have the um, Claire's vitamin, I think it's vitamin D moisturizer anymore. I ran out. When I get the chance, I will get some more, but at the moment, this is what I have. But if you want to run, 
the first thing is to do, of course, is to lace up your shoes and start. That's what everybody says, which is true, but you know, if you're trying to lose weight or you don't feel necessarily just safe starting like that, I recommend obviously talking to your doctor about it. Um, I had to walk before I ran, so I did a lot of power walking and just walking in general to get used to actually moving a lot more than I normally would have. And then you can start off with like a little jog and just to make sure you move your arms and and have the correct posture, shoulders down, cause doing this will put strain on your body. Don't do that. But yeah, make sure you talk to your doctor beforehand. You don't have to have any equipment. Um, you don't have to have any expensive running shoe to do it. You don't have to have compression gear just yet. If you just have like a pair of sweats and a t-shirt, that is perfectly fine. Oh, you don't have to run on a treadmill just yet. If you don't have a treadmill or a gym membership, going outside to run is perfectly fine. Just that if it is in the summertime or springtime or anytime that it's hot, make sure you run early in the morning or late in the evening so you do not get heat exhaustion and pass the F out because, yeah. If it's in the winter, you can start midday to afternoon. Um, you can do it in the morning, but it just depends on what time of morning. You don't wanna be, you know, necessarily out there when it's super freezing. It all just depends on your schedule, your body, the weather, all of that jazz. My first advice would be to invest in a running shoe. Your feet carry you the most if you're running. So, okay, first we're gonna use this Sunprise Mild Watery Light SPF 50 Sunscreen by Etude House. I absolutely love this. This is black girl friendly. It does not leave a cast because you do still need to wear sunscreen, people. Okay, so with the running shoes, you don't have to have a um, decked out pair of running shoes, just one that's going to be good for your feet. Uh, if you want to invest in a running shoe, you can go to a specialized running store. They're usually there to help you. They'll fit you in a shoe. Sometimes they'll have a treadmill there to, to watch your walk and all of that and help you if you pronate or if you... Um, over pronate. I wanted to show you guys the shoes that I actually run in. I finally got a new pair which are the Flex Experience 8s. These are my running shoe now. Um, they are a neutral running shoe so they're not you know for me to have any super endurance or anything. They're just a regular running shoe. That there's no um, foam in it for if I'm pronating, like if I'm running more in one foot on the other side or not. These are actually really, really great. They are like my, um, what is the other name of this shoe? Well, no, they are, they are like my Nike Lunar Fly Knits, um, but they have a bit more cushion. So, but they're almost like you're running barefoot. I also have a monitor, a little foot monitor that I just put into like a USB cover and connected it to my shoe. You don't have to get like the Nike Plus shoes with the, um, the little thing that goes inside the shoe. I just found that just cost way too much money. Um, I have these shoes which are, what are these? I don't know what shoes these are. If somebody could tell me the name of these, that would be great. But these are the men's running shoe. And I got these during Christmas time. My brother bought me these, but they are made for running in the rain and in the snow, which I thought was really cool. These were like my first real pair of running shoes. And I think these are the fly knits. Um, but you can customize them and mine say boo, because that's my real nickname and uh, I customized the color and all of that these are the shoes that I sometimes re uh, wear during like races and all that stuff it's really up to you oh no we don't have to go get any more Laura Mercier powder we're going to set 
this whole prime situation that I just did. This is a trick that TikTok is doing, but also I've learned from Jackie Ina. And I just go in with a light, really light hand with this because you don't want to put too much powder on. I take my setting spray. This is the TikTok part too. I take my setting spray. I use the Bella Jade Botanicals makeup setting spray. And you can get this off of Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. It's cheaper, but it works for me. And just fan yourself. And the second thing to invest in would be a heart rate monitor. Um, that's very important because sometimes you feel like you're running really fast and you may not be, but then you feel like you're running really slow and your heart's doing a lot of the work. You want to be very careful depending on the weather and um, how you're running, how much your body can take. Um, I have a Garmin heart rate monitor that you can connect to different apps and things of that such and it'll tell you your heart rate. Or you can just use your Apple Watch or a Fitbit or whatever uh, and make sure that the heart rate monitor part is turned on so you can see how many beats per minute your heart is putting out as you're running. Um, and there's usually like a, a chart for that online that you can Google and find uh, how much beats per minute you can do to burn fat or how many beats per minute you should be doing to get your... Um, heart rate going and get the blood flowing and pumping. But again, I am not a doctor. Please go to the doctor and get these facts checked out for your body. Everybody is totally different. The next thing I would suggest, compression gear or moisture wicking gear. If you wanna like treat yourself like, oh, I did a mile for the first time, or I did a certain number of miles in this month for the first time, that's an incentive to treat yourself and that's what I did to get all my running gear. So when I met my little baby goals, I got like um, things in return for myself. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself. Treat yourself. I would like for my clothes to look cute. So like I have this compression skirt with built in shorts. I mean, that's very important girls invest in a bra I still wear Victoria's Secret oh I hate you phone I'm gonna show one that I haven't worn yet I'm going I've always gotten um, the maximum support ones or the ones that zip up in front let me tell you when they connect in front it is so much easier because a sports bra is made to hold you in and usually the bras are so hard to get on like it's just freaking ridiculous but it unzips in the front and then there is a connector piece in the front and it's like a regular bra these to me hold in so well Nike has really good bras but I've noticed that sometimes they're a little too stretchy or um, see-through be sure that it's not, you know, too see-through or, you know, if you want to run around like that, that's fine. The compression sleeves, this usually helps with my arm because sometimes when you're running for a long time, for me, this arm, this arm like dies. Ooh, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be happening. So this is really helpful um, so that the blood keeps the flow in and your arm doesn't feel numb. Now I ain't got it pulled up all the way, but obviously you pull it up a little further it it goes on your arm these bright crazy looking things um obviously i love color what is that there's no we and pizza they're like super neon bright nike shorts um i have this pair these fit really 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 tiny um and by tiny i mean like almost not there type of thing i like to run in workout clothes that fit really tight for compression reasons and they have a pocket on the side usually but these clothes are bright because people have a tendency not to see you okay so for foundation before I go on about that we're gonna go in with 503 mocha by the lasting finish 25 breathable wear foundation liquid crap by Rema London it's somebody in a car it's somebody on a bike 
it's somebody just walking past you. You want to be seen. Now that sounds crazy, and a lot of people don't want to be seen when they run, but it's really important for safety reasons. You know, like if somebody, God forbid, is following you or something of that nature, you want to be seen because then people can identify you if something happens. You want to be seen and have reflective gear. Those pants that I showed have reflective gear in them. Um, if for some reason you're running and it's dark outside and you don't want to get hit by a freaking car, you want to be seen. If you do go jogging in all black, please have reflective gear on. Because nine times out of ten, they really don't see you. And there have been so many times where I've almost gotten hit by cars and just hit in general or, you know, you, you want to be seen. And just be cautious, even if you're on a trail. Because there's just too many things going on nowadays. And it's so easy for people to try to snatch you up or just hit you and keep going. There have been so many cases of people getting snatched or um, getting hit. So just be mindful of that. Pretty please with sugars on top. Because I don't care how safe your neighborhood is. It's like when you feel too safe oh not to scare you though if you feel too safe it's usually when you know things go awry today we are using what is this the infallible pro glow in 08 cocoa as concealer um i'm not a nutritionist of course but you want to obviously eat right according to your body so when you eat right and you exercise right your body will thank you it may not happen immediately if you're trying to lose weight from it but it will happen so just be patient with that you will be sore that is one thing if you're not used to running or doing any kind of activity you will be sore be prepared for that okay they make um, massagers, like mini massagers. They have the ones that go up and down, but they also have like um, these and they cut on and vibrate and you can just put them on the parts of your body. I usually get tension right here, so it's usually there. Or if you don't have any like foot equipment to rub any kinks out, you can rub your foot on the bottom of a water bottle and that will help loosen the tension in your feet. I usually, when I get out the shower, do like these exercises that help with that. So then my body is loose and I'm ready to go to sleep. Hip hip hooray. Stretch before and after you run. So it's a whole thing for me. Um, it all depends on how quickly you can warm up your body or how you warm up your body or I'll do like an active stretch which is just like um, squats or um, burpees or something of that nature or jumping jacks jumping jacks is a simple one something that gets your body moving without like straining yourself so much I'm just It'll be easier so you won't get injured. You don't want to work. You don't want to work cold muscles. Also, too, if it's hot outside or if you chafe, I use this. Even though it's like, ugh, it just sucks. It's Body Glide, and they have a blue one. Go for the blue one. It's bigger. Only go for this one. I don't care that it says for her. If you're a guy, you can still use this. It's uh, and moisturizing, so it has moisturizers in it. I don't understand why the other one is catered towards men in a blue bottle and it's bigger, but it doesn't say uh, for moisturizing. So either or is fine. Men, cover your nips with a band-aid or um, use the anti-chafe stuff. Your nipples will chafe. 
I'm not even joking. I've asked so many guys about that because I've seen them doing that. And I'm like, well, why are you guys doing that? Your nips will chafe, my dear. Please be prepared. If you go running for the first time and you don't know what's going to chafe, you will feel it. It will feel like a rug burn. That's super fun to find out. I feel like I could smack my eyeball. Like, I don't understand. But I am using the Pro, oh, the Pro, the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal Paris in Dark Brunette. This is my dupe for the Benefit Brow because I usually use the Benefit Brow in 05, but this is my dupe for it because it's actually thick enough. And I usually just try to even out my eyebrows as much as possible because your eyebrows are sisters not twins yeah. so your eyebrows don't have to be exactly alike when you are working out right okay you're running do other workouts mix that shit up because you can't just run. It's going to take away um, a lot of muscle mass. You can't just run and expect everything else to go super okay. That's cool if you want to just run and start off doing that. But from my experience, you have to weight train. And everybody's like, or at least women are like, but I don't want to get bulky. You won't get bulky. It's just cracked for some reason. We're using the Urban Decay Primer Potion to set my eye so I can wear my eyeshadow. But you won't get bulky. And there are um, exercises and weightlifting exercises designed to not make you bulky. Again, go to a trainer. There are plenty of trainers and stuff on YouTube. Um. I keep forgetting her name. I think it's Natalie Ocean. Oh, no, it's Natasha. Natasha Ocean. She is really good for weight training and weightlifting. And she is not bulky. She's strong as hell, though. But she is not bulky. I absolutely love her. Or even Blogilates. Her stuff works, too. Dancing works. I'll shadow box and I have like these pink boxing gloves. They're so cute. Mix it up. Have some fun with it. Build up your muscle. You need your, your, your gut and your core and your booty. Your booty, oddly enough, to hold you up when you run. We're going to use the 351 Icy Fantasy Morphe Palette in collaboration with Pony or Pony Syndrome, who is a K beauty artist. Oh, uh, it's so dirty, but I absolutely love this palette. Do not be fooled. This palette is black girl friendly. It doesn't look like it, but these colors are like so freaking awesome. And I've seen other artists who are darker in skin tone than me wear this. So it is awesome. A fluffy part of my brush to dip into these two colors this like weird orangey color and this matte orangey color the way that my eye is shaped or is in general I have deep hooded almondy eyes so I use like monolid techniques to put on makeup so we're going to brush this all along the eye but yeah mix up your routines it will make running so much fun and you'll look forward to getting back to running you'll be like oh i did this dance the other day and it was so live and now i want to run like you have the endurance <laughs> i don't know what's that endurance or at least i do exercising can be addictive if you make it fun and mix it up and the more you mix it up the more you change your body for the better because sometimes you can't always problem treat you can't just be like I'm just gonna do squats and that's it like it's like no okay so this is a base it doesn't look like much is there but it's there I'm gonna do a backwards mode thing and I'm going to use my eyeliner which is the exaggerate in Rimmel London in black is it called black black is black 262 black is black 
I swear to God. I'm going to try not to pull on my eye, but I end, usually end up doing that. So, which I actually might have to do. Ugh. Stay gold, gold. Just put the top back on, like soup, and flip it. There's like a pencil sharpener on this end and a little blendy tool, and we're just gonna blend that out. Sometimes the harsh line when you have like a almost gel type of liner, it's just sucky. We're also gonna take a Rimmel London liner and do our wing liner according to our eyeball. I've seen this thing or heard about this thing. I really haven't seen any videos because I don't click on them on TikTok about this fox trot thing. Please don't do that. I know there have been looks where people um, elongate the inner corner and all of that and it's done in a different way that's fine but like please don't imitate somebody else's eye shape as far as like racially it's, it's weird but what I'm gonna do is go at an angle I like the dramatic eye line but I always do this to enhance my natural eye shape so I'm gonna do this if I can get it right we're gonna try to do it on camera. I don't know. Oh my dear lord. Trying to do this on camera is weird. So I always go up a little higher because when my eye rests, um, it will disappear. And, and then I press and go along the top. This pencil kind of is sucking right now, but we're gonna work with it. So that's usually how I do my eyeliner, and I'll clean it up in a second this might be better to show you <laughs> if it'll press out some ink sometimes it like stutters this would be the second best eyeliner again the m cosmetics line with their graphic illustrator liner and stuff that they have is probably the best, honestly. I think it's pretty even. Haha, <laughs> it's not. <sighs> it's so hard to get that. Like, older oh, lord, help me. We're gonna take the James Morphe palette, also. Morphe, 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 Morphe. And we're going to take the color Spigay, which is the black, and this highly pigmented palette, and go across the eyeliner to set it. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but, you know, because sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Copyright! Dipped those two together in, like, bloop, 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 um, to do the actual eye color so much on top of this glitter but after you've run and you've done all that stuff there will be setbacks let's be realistic there will be setbacks there will be training changes that you change you know based off of what you want to do if you want to do a couch to 5k there's things in training regimens with that you can do those um just be realistic if your body is telling you you can't do it today take a rest and i've noticed you know as a runner a lot of runners don't listen to their body sometimes not the doctor i remember pulling my hamstring during the year i was training for the full marathon and i still ended up running it i had enough time to recover but <sighs> Story time. I remember I was in the kitchen and I was talking to my mom, doing some weird exercise in the kitchen because I wanted to talk to her, but I didn't feel like going in the other room screaming. So I was in the kitchen and I was like, huh, my body feels a little weird. And I was like, eh, 
it's probably just me thinking it's feeling weird and I'm just gonna keep working out. So I'm working out talking to her and all of a sudden I feel like this hot, hot searing pain and it feels like my muscle is just slowly moving up my leg and I was like, what the hell is this? And I looked down at my leg and it's like where it was coming from. It felt like it was throbbing really strangely. And then all of a sudden, boom! And then I'm like, it feels like somebody's ripping my hamstring off my leg. And I'm screaming. And it's not like a Charlie horse, which is just like a muscle spasm. I'm like, I felt like my leg was coming apart. And... I'm down for the count. I'm on the floor screaming. My mom's like, what's wrong? And like, she didn't seem quite concerned at all. And I was like, I think I just pulled my hamstring. And I'm like, literally screaming. I usually don't do like girly screams unless like I'm in pain or I'm extremely terrified or I fall or something. And I'm like, ah! but you know, like horror movie type scream. Did I just do what they always tell you never to do. I called off the next day for work and eventually I had to go to the doctor because it hurt so bad. And the doctor's like, I can't help you with this. You're gonna go to a sports doctor. So I went to a sports doctor. He was like, what were you doing? Yeah, he pulled a hamstring. And I was like, bruh, are you kidding me? He was like, are you playing any sports or anything? I'm like, bruh, I'm training for a marathon. Like, I'm on the floor. No, and then I could barely walk. That's another thing too. And I got off for like a week of work. What the hell? I could not walk. And then to do recovery exercises and all of that, like you have to slowly walk. So it's just, oh, I was in so much pain. That took maybe three months to recover from. I was taking the whole year to train for the marathon and it happened in the middle so um thankfully i recovered from it and still ran the marathon last year i broke four of my teeth i am a teeth grinder and i was running i was running on the treadmill and um I was running extremely hard. I was trying to do these sprints, music going, I'm blazing, trying to uh, beat my record, my PB, which is personal best. But all of a sudden, I chomp down and I go dizzy. And I'm like, what did I just do? Like, what exactly did I just do? Um, my adrenaline was still super crazy high and because of that i didn't know i cracked my teeth i went back to the dentist and it was so weird because the lady was like you don't run more than i do because i told her i cracked my teeth because i was running i was like excuse me lady what what the hell are you talking about i don't run as much as you do what does that have to do with anything that has nothing to do with anything we are, oh, let me stop. <laughs> we are using a loose gold powder from the Serpentina palette that, by Kat Von D. I still have this. So we're just gonna go in the inner corner like that. And we're gonna go on this side. I'm like, I came in to get my teeth fixed. You asked me why I told you. Like, shut up, this is strange. Relax your jaw. If you have to, leave your mouth slightly open. Shoulders back, head up, so you can see where you're going. Whether you are on the treadmill or you're running in person. When you're looking down and you're running, you only see your feet. You're not seeing where you're going. You're not watching your surroundings, any of that. Also, when you look down at your feet and you're running, it will make you dizzy. You will fall over. The injuries that have occurred from running. I've had quite a few rolled ankles, which is utterly crazy. Oh my God, I love this. this is what it looks like people probably look at me like why does she have on that makeup like that actually you know it's funny i get a lot of compliments about my makeup because of the way that my eyes are shaped some lady was like you look like this arabian lady thing and i was like oh 
I know what she meant. She just didn't know how to phrase it. Um, so, so she just put a type of eye to it. Um, some lady was like, your eyes are so pretty and almost proceeded to like pull her eyes back. And I was looking at her like, are you really finna do that? And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, okay. And she was like, your eyes are just pretty. I'm like, okay, thank you. That's all you gotta say. Like, it's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. What was I talking about? I just rambled, oh my God. But especially with the stretches before and after, cause that can prevent so many injuries. Oh my God. Like you wouldn't believe. Um, running doesn't always have to be super, um, intense. It is a sport, yes, but it doesn't have to be super intense at all. You can go out, have fun, dance, sing. I sung through the whole half marathon because usually when I'm running out of breath or something, I'll sing and run. And these people that were running near me, they thought it was just so funny. The running culture is just interesting because there are going to be so many people there to cheer you on. Now, mind you, there are going to be a lot of snobby running people and just don't pay them any attention. A attention. Attention. Wow. Don't pay them any attention. Just do you. There was this girl who cheered me on all the way to the finish line. And I was like, do I know you? She's like, no. I was like, okay. So, <laughs> you know, she gave me a hug and all that stuff. And we went about our merry own way. A lot of people will encourage you. It's exercise. It's more of a, a brotherhood type of sport. So, for the most part... People will cheer you on. And I absolutely, positively love that about running. I don't know how that's going to be. <laughs> Hopefully, I transitioned diet. But I went ahead and put on my lipstick, which is Magic Hour by M Cosmetics and their Cloud Lipstick. Their little matte lipsticks that they have. And Infallibles 366 Stirred. And put on our cheeks. Um, I haven't been wearing blush either because of quarantino. So this is always fun to do. I do it for sport and fun. And it's a way for me because I am a little bit shy to meet different people. Um, and you meet all kinds of different people from different backgrounds when you run. It's just, it's, it's super interesting. Um, and then if you're all running for a cause like breast cancer or anything like that or just charities in general which is what i usually run for for it's usually um the best so i don't know it's just a good release it's almost like um taking a long hot shower those are the nicest things ever or doing like facial treatments and doing like a mask and all that and just chilling. Oh god, those are the best. I like that blush. That is a dupe for the uh, liquid blush that, um, again, M Cosmetics have. I have to get some more M Cosmetics. Holy freaking crap it's. There's so many benefits to running and some people are like, well, it'll make your knees hurt. Uh, it just depends on the person as far as that goes. But I always used to have knee issues and now my knees don't hurt. So I don't know. If you have arthritis, that might be an issue. But again, check with your doctor. I grew my bangs out on this side. I should really wear them down properly. I just love this earring. Look, look at this earring. Look at this earring. You can see it. The freaking shadow light is getting on my nerves. I absolutely love this. I don't know why the phone keeps ringing, but it's really pissing me off. But if you like this video, go ahead and obviously like the video. It's really, really bright 
in person but I just feel like with these colors obviously because I love these type of colors it just brings out my skin tone even with the green because I kind of look like a Christmas tree but that's okay I love being me and you should love being you too one thing I do want to say with running is that the minute you step outside and you are running you are a runner don't let anybody else tell you otherwise keep running keep motivating keep being yourself i'll be rooting you on i absolutely love running it is my niche as far as exercise go the next would probably be dancing <laughs> oddly enough it requires little to no equipment to start even though as you go up the equipment can get pricey but it requires little to no equipment um give it a chance too because some people don't give it a chance and they freak out and all of that and then if it's not for you then it's not for you you've tried it you know it's not for you if you want to come back to it you can always do that you're not gonna be spending so much money out the gate for this type of sport uh if you want to learn more about it you can look up different runners a lot of people know about usain bolt i love usain bolt but i also love allison felix she is like my favorite runner and she doesn't even do long distance i am a long distance runner and she does more of the like short distances uh, Shalane Flanagan, Sonia Richards Ross. Oh my god. This video is getting way too long. So, thank you so very much for watching. Hopefully, more people see this. They will be inspired to run. I will see you in the next one. And bye. I don't know the words in Japanese yet. Stay gold. Do 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 do. Stay gold. Gold. Do 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 do. Stay gold. Oh, and then he does that high note. Woo! I can't do it all the way. I think I'd bust a speaker.